Okay, so now we get to basic rotations around the origin. Okay, so let's jump right into it by plotting a point and rotating it. So there's a point. Well, no, there's the coordinate system. There's a point. Okay, we're going to call that point x comma y and let's start with a 90 degree rotation so we're just going to look at the basic rotations in other words 90 degrees and 180 degrees a 19 uh, degree rotation around the origin the origin okay so what does that actually mean okay well it simply means that what I do with that point is I connect it to the origin Okay, with a line connected to the origin and now uh, around the origin so I should put this clockwise clockwise and now in a clockwise direction from here I measure 90 degrees which is there and then I take the same distance and I plot it out here to there so there's my point my image is right there and my question is what is the coordinate of this image so there's the coordinate x accent y accent what is it in terms of x and y okay what's the relationship between this coordinates x and y and that coordinates x and y okay first of all I just want to say that a 90 degree rotation around the origin is equivalent to a 270 degree rotation in the opposite direction. So this, this is equivalent to 270 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay? So that it's exactly the same thing. Whether I do the one or the other, it comes down to the same thing. So the transformation rule would be the same. So let's go draw a little bit more information on here. What I'm going to do is just draw a, a 90 degree triangle right here. I'm going to call that angle theta. Now look at my opposite is opposite theta. We have this height here, which is y. That's the y value of the coordinate and this distance on the x axis. That is the adjacent side of this triangle and that one is x okay now if I connect this one here as well do we have a congruent triangle in other words and let me just make some space wipe that out in other words can we see that this angle here is also theta because if it is theta then since this length and this length is the same and I can have uh, another angle and that's a 90 degree and that's a 90 degree then I would have two congruent triangles which would mean uh, uh, this length would be the adjacent that one would be the opposite so let's make this uh, well let's see if this is equal to theta how can we see that well if this is if this is theta then this angle here is 90 degrees minus theta because look this angle here and this angle right here makes up 90 degrees so if that is theta then this part must be theta 90 without the theta okay now how big is this angle right here well if so we know that this is also equal to 90 degrees so this angle plus that angle would add up to 90 degrees as well so this ang if if I have this angle to find this angle I must take 90 degrees minus this angle so this must also be equal to theta so that this one is 90 degrees minus theta well I hope that reasoning made sense you opposite theta see we've got exact same triangle it's just it's just rotated now so if I take that rotation then this must be X sorry Y opposite is is Y adjacent is x and that's just length keep that in mind please that's length okay but what would I read off here yes this distance is x but x used to be a positive value it used to be in the first quadrant where x is positive now 
this x is measured on the negative side of the y-axis so that will now become negative x okay this is y it's still on the positive side so this distance is y so it's still on the positive side so that reading right here would be y so what is this reading on of my coordinate it would be y for the x coordinate reading of there that would be y and negative x for the y coordinate so that this is my transformation rule transformation rule if point x y is tra is rotated rotated 90 degrees clockwise then the transformation rule would be y comma negative x so what do we see well we see that my coordinates swapped around and the y coordinate received a negative okay and that would be equivalent to 270 degrees anti clockwise okay how about going 90 degrees anti clockwise so let's draw this okay so there's my coordinate okay and uh, that's the coordinate x comma y and I rotated 90 degrees wait that does not look right 90 degrees to there okay and look at this there's kind of a, my triangle that I am rotating 90 degrees so what happens to that triangle well there's that triangle you see that so okay there's my theta it gets rotated in this direction 90 degrees so that point let's color coordinate again that point is that point okay so I'm only really considered is considering that coordinate but to do that I I'm I rotate actually a whole triangle and see what happens so that point becomes that point and this point here just stays that point there okay can you see the triangle rotated so this is the angle theta that's the angle theta this used to be y and this used to be x now opposite is still y and adjacent is still x which means now I can see that this height here is x units high and this distance from there to there is y units long but it's on the negative side of the x-axis and x used to be positive so this would be negative y ne uh, sorry y used to be positive so this must be negative y so what happens to a transformation of uh, or a rotation transformation so it's a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise okay and again that is equivalent to a 270 degree clockwise rotation so that's equivalent to 270 degrees clockwise Okay, what happens to the new coordinates? Well, we see the x coordinate is negative y, the y coordinate is positive x. Okay, and what happens this time? How is it different? Well, again, we can see x and y swaps places, and the this time the y coordinate gets the negative. Sorry, the x the x portion of the coordinate gets the negative okay how about a rotation of 200 uh, sorry 180 degrees okay so there's there's my coordinate system there's my point that I am going to rotate and so in order to rotate it I make this imaginary right angled triangle so there's my imaginary right angle triangle and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees which means it's going to go in this direction it actually just makes a straight line in that direction ok 
Okay, so imagine now that point, this point here connected to the origin must make a straight line in this direction, be somewhere there. So this distance I carry over here would be that distance. So there is my rotation of that point. And you can see my my triangle rotated from this way into that way. Okay, this used to be angle theta. It's still angle theta. This used to be y. It's still y, just an upside down y. Okay, <laughs> if I stick to that, this is x, and x is now on there. So here we go. I want to know what is the coordinate of this point right here. That point right there would be if I read off from the x, I get. Well, this distance is simply x, but it's in the negative direction, so it's a negative x. This distance off on the y, since I'm also going in the negative direction, it's negative this distance, which is just y, negative y. So, what do we make of the transformation rule? A rotation. I'm not even going to say clockwise or anti-clockwise, because 100 and 80 degrees whether I go clockwise or where I whether I go anti-clockwise it's exactly the same thing so a rotation of 180 degrees just means completely turned around and you'll notice that your x coordinate is still x your y coordinate is still y both just changes their signs no both change their signs that's better okay so both just change their signs Okay, so let's just look at a quick few examples. So let's say 2, 3 on an, a rotation a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise. So let's quickly, without even going to look at the rotations, rotation rules, we don't even have to go plot this point. Just take any point in the first quadrant where x is positive and y is positive. For 90 degrees and for uh, uh, 270 degrees, you the, the coordinates will swap around. So one will be a y, the other one will be an x. Our question just now is which one will get the negative? Okay, so I'm going to 90 degrees clockwise, which means I'm going in this direction. So what do I notice? when I get into this quadrant, which quadrant has a negative value? Y is negative and X is positive. In other words, my Y portion of the coordinate must get the negative. And that's it. So this one becomes, uh, well that's a transformation rule. So this would become 3, because Y used to be 3, comma negative 2, because 2 must get a negative. Okay, let's take a point like negative 4, 1, and we rotate it a rotation of 270 degrees clockwise. Clockwise. So we draw a brief sketch. Just take any point in the first quadrant, okay, um, and then take it 270 degrees is the same as 90 degrees anti-clockwise so we we'll just go in that quadrant and then we see okay we know y and x is going to swap around now which one must take the negative okay so which one sign must change in this case it must be the x coordinates sign that changes so we put a negative in the x portion so this is the transformation rule okay there's the transformation rule for a 270 degrees clockwise rotation. So what does it mean? Swap these two around. So 1 and 4 must swap around. Just notice how I has, haven't put any negative signs yet. I see that my sign for the x part must change. It used to be positive 1, now it must be negative 1. So the sign for the y coordinate must not change. So it used to be negative, it should still just be and negative. So even if we did go plot that point, where would that point be? That point would be somewhere here, probably there. If I do a 90 degree translation, that point would be there where we can see both of my 
uh, x is negative and my y is uh, negative okay and that's that's what I had right here F last example a rotation of let's say uh, 1 comma negative 2 rotated rotation of 180 degrees okay remember they stay the same 1 comma 2 but both sign changes so this one used to be positive it becomes negative this one used to be negative it becomes positive okay what if you forgot how to do it well you can just go plot the point and actually do it physically just very quickly it, it wouldn't even take you long so I really think rotation is is a very very simple even though a little bit more complicated than the others still a very simple procedure and uh, it's actually only rotations that's not 90 degrees or 180 degrees and such and the such that we're doing in the next lesson that's actually a bit more complicated but for now let's do a few more of these examples in the next couple of videos see you there